If you've ever driven down old South Virginia streets and you've maybe seen some steam coming off of the hillsides, mm -hmm. right? Well, that is a hint of the geothermal activity happening in the area. Scientists have discovered cracks opening up in the ground with scalding water spouting through at one particular site. Faith Justice tagged along with the team visiting the area today. She joins us from a very windy South mm -hmm. Reno. Faith, first of all, is the site dangerous? Kristen, there are a couple of safety hazards to be aware of. The water is hot enough to give you third degree burns and because it's partially underground, it has eaten away at the rock. So you gotta watch where you step or the ground could collapse and you could find yourself knee deep in boiling water. Boiling hot water coming up through a long crack in the ground. It's a new feature in South Reno that scientists are investigating. There's some new uh, sort of bubbling springs. You might want to call them very, very small geysers coming up along a fissure in the ground. The spout is a visual manifestation of the way Nevada itself sits and moves on the Earth's surface. But the idea is that um, the crust is uh, like much like a like the world's largest taffy is sort of extending, is being pulled apart, right, from 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 uh, various ends. That stretching motion opens up cracks, and hot water forces its way through. Movement like this is not new to Nevada. The state literally gains about two acres of land every year by stretching itself thin. But the relative motion that's happening in Nevada is we're kind of moving to the northwest. Local businesses use that geothermic activity to their advantage. Steamboat Hot Springs attracts those who want to safely soak in the water. Clients and staff swear it has medicinal properties. We have a man that soaks here. He actually was in a car accident and has um, burns all over 80% of his body. It's the area's rich geological history that makes these man-made and nature-made hot springs possible. Uh, historically, this area has had geysers um, that, that disappeared, um, you know, about 100 years ago. Um, will they come back? I, I couldn't say. Couldn't say. Would it be exciting if they did? Absolutely. Now what you just saw in the video, that small geyser-like feature, it is on private property and the owners do not allow visitors, uh, partially for safety reasons. So if you're looking to get a taste of the geothermal activity happening in South Reno, the right place to do it is probably here at the Steamboat Hot Springs where they can get you into the water safely. Covering the story live, Faith Justice, 2 News Nevada.